Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial from Coding Artist. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create the split and rebuild text effect. It's a really cool visual effect that you can use to make your web pages more engaging and interactive. So let's jump right into the code and see how it works. Let's start with the HTML part of code. The HTML code consists of a div with class container. Inside this container, we have a p element with the text, how are you? Followed by the p tag, we have two h1 elements with the same content, that is hello. One more h1 tag. And we are done with the HTML code. Now let's move on to CSS. Here we start with a universal selector which applies the following styles to all the elements on the page. We set the padding and margin to 0 and box sizing to border box to remove any default spacing around the elements and ensure the total width and height of an element includes padding and border sizes. Next we set the font family to poppins to be used for the entire page. Moving on to the body selector, we set the background color to a dark gray color, creating a dark background for our web page. Now let's focus on the container. This div element is positioned absolutely in the center of the page using CSS properties like transform, top and left. We set the height to 14.37 em and for the width we use 28.12 em. The cursor is set to pointer. Next we target the h1 headings. These headings are positioned absolutely and have a large font size of 9.37 em. They are initially positioned on the top of each other for the h1 elements we set the background color to the same dark gray color as the body and the color of the text is set to white we align the text to center and as mentioned earlier we position them absolutely so they are placed on the top of each other for the paragraph element, we use a bright pink color. Even the paragraph is positioned absolutely, but it has a smaller font size of 2.5 em and it is centered vertically using transform translate y minus 50% property. Sorry, I missed that. So, just let me go and fix that. Um, and yeah, there we go. Now comes the interesting part, when we hover over the container div, we trigger some CSS transformations on the two heading elements. Let's break it down step by step. When we hover over the container div, the CSS selector dot container hover h1 nth child 2 is activated. This means that styles defined within the selector will be applied to the second h1 element when the container is being hovered. Within the selector, we have two CSS properties. First, we have clip path property, which creates a polygonal clipping path for the heading, defining a shape that reveals only a portion of text. In this case, the text is split horizontally, showing only the top half and hiding the bottom half. The second property is transform translate y minus 50 px which moves the heading 50 pixels upward. This creates a smooth animation effect as the heading moves up when the hover when we hover over the container. I 
Additionally, we define a transition duration of 0.3 seconds. So something isn't working right yet. Let me go ahead and check it out. Let me finish my code first. We'll copy the same code and instead of nth child 2, we will use nth child 3. Now this is really important. Please don't miss this step. Similarly, when we hover over the container, the select CSS selector dot container hover h1 nth child 3 is activated. This selector applies styles to the third h1 element when the container is being hovered. Within the selector, we set the clip path to a polygonal shape which creates another polygonal clipping path. This time the text is split vertically showing the bottom half and hiding the top half of the third heading. When we hover, you can see this beautiful effect in working. And that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till then, happy coding.